The question is, uh, what do these two places have in common? We're just going to show you some pictures. And if anyone can guess, I'll be really happy. But uh, we're going to go through these slides. If you can figure out where the first place is, it might help you figure out what these two places have in common. Go ahead. So the answer is uh, uh, in Africa, they do mining for uh, cobalt. Yeah. They also do mining for lithium as well. Cobalt and lithium are both things that need to be mined out of the earth. London, what London has in common with where they mine these is the size of London is the size of uh, the picture that you see on your screen right now. So the entire city, this is what they've excavated out of the earth to create the batteries that we use in our electric vehicles, in our uh, cell phones, in our computers, and so forth. And it's something that's going to continue. This is the new green, the green plan here. So just. Was that Imperial Valley that we saw by any chance? No, it was not Imperial Valley. This is all these are, are, are photos in Africa. This is a, a picture of cobalt what it looks like when it comes out of the earth. From there, it gets refined and it gets sent to a lot of different companies. All the companies are big names that everyone knows. So they can manufacture the batteries for EVs and, and so forth. Yeah, during this, there's a couple of things that happens. One, of course, the minerals are extracted from the earth. Uh, it's a very not at all a green process. The amount of water that goes into the extraction process is crazy. The amount of uh, people that die in this process is, is really crazy. If you look on the right side of this photo, there's a village right here. And then this is where the mining operation starts right to the left on the left side of the screen. The delineation is like a little fence, little rock fence that they put up between the two. Cobalt is not a clean mineral. It's a hazardous material. So it's it degrades the entire society that it gets extracted from. Normally those societies under normal circumstances are compensated for their minerals, except for how they did things here in the United States. This is the Congo, Republic of Congo. They go, they extract material, they don't give anything back to the society, the people that live in these places. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is we can't talk about lithium batteries. We can't talk about green without actually understanding what's behind the scenes, what's going to continue to be behind the scenes until the greater population is educated and understands this is also what happens. This is not a far off thing. This is happening right now, right here today to give people the convenience of having a laptop to talk about these things on, which is really bizarre. But just want to make sure everyone's aware of that. And just to bring that up, someone had already dropped in um, a message when we were talking about batteries about this. So I just want to make sure we also included this. Um, we can get into deeper discussion, but right now we're going to have to move on to the next one. So it's making sure everyone's aware that this happens. Tons of resources on it. Google cobalt blood, and you can read thousands of articles. It's going to be the same thing, lithium blood as well. So I'll pass Thank it you to for you. I just wanted to offer some buffer because I know this is a lot. <laughs> Looking at these pictures a lot and just holding the contradiction is a lot. And knowing that our communities also have immediate needs. We don't live in a perfect world. And of course, it'd be really nice if we can find a technology that helps solve that. But we also have people who need the medicine and the power is shutting off. The power lines are coming down, the heat keeps rising. There were 1 million people without power just last night from a storm and people are being killed just from a storm right now happening at this moment. And this is just natural disaster. We're not even talking about the social disaster that's constantly happening. The compounded things is constantly happening. We have to navigate the contradiction around how do we then use these tools in a way that actually builds power instead of affirm the system that kills us, affirm the system that kills the planet.